What is up everybody? It's TJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 World Overview and today we're going to be looking at Elmira City. So this world is by My Sims Realty y'all and oh my gosh it's really big. <laughs> like it didn't really look that big from like the pictures but this world is huge okay. And it's kind of cool because you have like a city area over here but like when you go over here to this section you have like a more rural like country southern area. So this world only uses ambitions and late night and you really don't need any other pack or anything like that. And there's also a safe out for this world but i don't have the save file installed right now but there is one that you can download if you would like to so why don't we go ahead and get started y'all so you know what why don't we start over here in this little area and then we'll like we'll work our way back that way because there's a lot of stuff to see over there okay we'll just we'll, we'll start over here first <laughs> so why don't we go over here to the bramble playground and uh let's just check this out real quick all right so we're down here at the bramble playground there's like a nice little pond over here where you can have your sims come and fish there's a pier you can stand on over here you have a tree house there's even a little section right here where you can grill and eat food and stuff like that over here you have like this little shelter so let's open this up for a second so underneath it oh you can have your sims get married under here wait so that so this world also uses generations y'all because this wedding arts came from generations so you'll need ambitions generations and late night for this world okay well over here though you have a buffet table there's also a bar and a stereo and then right here you have your bathrooms i'm assuming yeah you have your bathrooms under here as well so that's pretty cool and then going back over this way you have like another little playground area a sandbox spring rides playhouse and stuff like that so very very cute out here but let's go ahead and keep moving on though we'll check out some of the houses later on so why don't we go over here to the camp quasimoto so let's just check this out real quick so we're down here at camp quasimoto and it's like a little campground area so i kind of like it wait did these tents come with world adventures if i'm not mistaken I don't know, but I think they came with World Adventures y'all, so apparently you might need that pack too. But anyway, we're down here at this little campsite. You have a pond over here in the middle, and then you have like these cabins, so let's just open them up real quick. Ooh, yeah, so you have your cabins, you have your bunk beds, you have a little bookshelf and a dresser in here. This one is just like the one we just saw. And then going over this way, you have a bathroom section. It even has like a little potty right here for your toddler, so that's kind of useful. Going back over this way, you have like a little community garden space, so that's pretty cool. And going over here, you have like a little like kitcheny area where you can come and watch TV. You can come and sit down and read a book if you would like to. And going back over here, you have some tents, and there's also a fire pit out here as well. So yeah, you could definitely have your Sims come here for like a little like vacation or something like that, or like a little getaway from home or something. But let's go ahead and keep moving on. So let's go over here to the this building this is called reserved and is this one also called reserved so these two are called reserved i'm thinking these are just empty on the inside all right y'all so we're down here at this reserved lot so let me just see if this is empty or not yeah so this is empty on the inside and then like the one beside it is also empty so you can like build stuff here if you would like to so that's pretty cool though all right so let's go across the street and check out the elmira community library so let's just check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the elmira community library it looks kind of fancy but let's just go ahead and open it up real quick so when you come in you have a little place to sit down here by the fireplace there's plenty of bookshelves there is a little computer desk right here as well going back over this way you have some bathrooms there's also a office space maybe or just like another room where you can come and read if you would like to let me bring the walls up yeah so it's just an archway so i guess you could just come in here and you know get on the computer read and just sit down and chill so let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick though so when you go upstairs i'll bring the walls down for a second but when you go up Upstairs, you have a little place to sit right here plenty of bookshelves you even have like a little kids corner over here with a dollhouse there's also like a little toy chest right here so you could definitely bring your kids here if you want to and then over here on this side you just have more bookshelves as well but i think that's pretty much it for the library but now let's go over here to the main street salon and tattoo all right so we're down here at the main street salon and tattoo let's go ahead and open this up really quick so it looks like it's pretty empty at the top of it so down here though you actually have like a little waiting room area you have your front desk you have your stylist stations in here as well and then going over this way you have your bathrooms and then there is like some stairs that lead downward so let's go downstairs for a second so down here you actually have your section where you can come and have your sims get tattoos so that's pretty cool there's like a little waiting area here you have like a little desk here and you also have like a little place over here where you can come and sit down so this is very useful in my opinion and i really like it though so now let's go ahead and go over here 
to the Dogwood Playground. Let's check this out. All right, y'all, so we're down here at the Dogwood Playground. This is like a little playground area for your kids. You have spring rods, playhouse, slide. There's also a grill and picnic table out here. You have a seesaw, swings. There's a little park bench. And then over here, I'm assuming is the bathroom. Yeah, so you have like your bathroom right here. So you have like a really nice size park over here too. All right, so let's go ahead and keep moving on. So we've seen pretty much everything over here in this area. Again, we'll check out some of the houses later on, but let's go ahead and go back this way. So we're over here now at the Elmira Memorial Cemetery. Let's check this out. So we're down here at the Elmira Memorial Cemetery. So it is like a little graveyard lot. You have like two ponds right here where you can have your Sims come and fish. You have your mausoleum. You also have like a little empty area over here. So you definitely have a lot of space to add your own graves if you would like to. There's also like a little bench over here underneath the tree. And then going over here this way, you have like another bench. There's also some graves. Let's go ahead and go over here and we'll check out the Lighthouse Pond South and the Lighthouse Pond North. So let's check out the North first and then we'll check out the South. So down here, you just have a little fishing spot area. It's pretty empty, but you can definitely add stuff out here if you want to. And then over here, you have the other fishing spot. Again, this one I think is a little bit bigger probably, um, but it's just like a fishing spot. This one does have some harvestable. So you have like a lime tree, apple tree, onion plant and life plant okay y'all come out here and get that life plant you, if you know you know <laughs> but yeah you just have like a little pond over here as well so you can have your sims come and fish but all right let's go ahead and go over here to the empty warehouse so like wait hold on is it actually empty on the inside hold on <laughs> let's just check and see really quick let's uh scroll down yeah so uh I mean, it's not a completely empty on the inside. You do have some boxes, okay. But over here, you have like two desks, two bookshelves, and there's like a love seat over here in this room. But I mean, it is mainly empty. There's also like a dumpster outside of it though. <laughs> but okay, let's go ahead and keep moving on. So over here, we have the Land Grab Sell and Swap. So this is a consignment store. Let's check this out. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the Land Grab Sell and Swap. This is a consignment store. And I think this is just the pre-mate one that comes. Yeah, this is like a pre-mate one. Yeah, so I've pretty much seen everything in here. You have like a little furniture section over here by the door you have like a little clothing section over here you have your drafting table and then you have like your register there's some more objects on display and then you have your bathrooms over here in the back and there's some dumpsters back here too but yeah this is like one of the pre-made ones i think it just comes with ambitions i want to say all right now let's go ahead and go over here to the elmira landfill all right so we're down here at the elmira landfill and there is plenty of scrap out here so you could definitely have your sims come here there's also like a little pond area over here so i guess technically you can have your sims come and fish if you want to and then you do have this building right here so let's open it up really quick so on the inside you have your bathrooms over here on the right going over this way you have your like a little it's like a little kitcheny like break room area i guess there's also like a desk right here as well so you could definitely have your sims come here to eat if you want to you know or use the bathroom maybe they need to take a break from digging in the trash i don't really know but you have a landfill if you need one all right so now we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the grind so let's check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the grind and i want to say that this is one of the pre-made ones that comes with late night if i'm not mistaken but let me just check it out yeah this is like one of the pre-made lots that comes with late night so you have places to sit big dance floors some tables and a bar over here you have your bathrooms and then when you scroll upstairs you just have more places to sit up here as well so yeah yeah this is like one of the pre-made ones and then you do have your food truck on the outside of it though all right y'all so now we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the city area there's quite a lot to look at um is there anything like over here no so there's nothing over there that way so all right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. So I guess what we'll do is we'll start over here at the reserve. Oh, so this is probably empty. Okay, let's check out the reserved. And then, oh, so these two are also reserved. Okay, well, let's just check out the reserves real quick just to see if there's anything on the inside of them. Maybe there might be. So this one is a building right here. Let's scroll down. Okay, so this one is completely empty on the inside. Okay, okay, so now let's go over here to the other reserved and let's just check and see if this one is empty or not. All right, so let's just try to open this one up really quick. Yes. Yeah, so so this one is also empty okay so this one is empty and that one over there is empty okay but now let's go over here to this building this is the elmira total fitness so this is a gym let's just go ahead and open it up real quick all right so on the inside you have like a pool over here 
But over here on the left, you have like a little waiting room area. There's also like a dresser right here. <laughs> and you do have a foosball table. You have your bathrooms over here on the left. Going over here on the right, you pretty much have the same exact thing. So it's kind of mirrored. Same objects on both sides. Okay. But now let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs on the right, you have your treadmills. You have like some places to sit. And then you also have your TVs in here. And there's a stereo. And over here in the middle, you have like a little like cafeteria area where you can come and get a quick meal get some coffee if you want to sit down and eat watch tv if you want and then over here on the left you have your weight machines there's a stereo you have your tvs and then you have some places to sit so this is like a pretty nice gym though all right so now we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the club fusion rose and then over here across the street you have the underground twilight so let's just check out the club fusion rose first all right y'all so we're down here at the club fusion rose let's go ahead and open it up real quick so down here at the bottom you have like a little waiting room area yeah y'all y'all definitely need generations because that's where these items came from so you'll need generations as well though but you have like a little sitting area down here you have some places to sit bookshelves but let's go ahead and go downstairs real quick so when you go downstairs i love the color scheme down here you have a bar you have some arcade games you have a little place to sit there is also a dartboard going over here you have shuffleboard you have a little place to sit here and you have some tables and then you even have a stage so you could definitely have your sims you know come here and play instruments on the stage um or i guess listen to other sims play and then over here you have some bathroom so this is like a really nice um club down here though i really like it all right so now we're gonna go ahead and go across the street and we're gonna check out the underground twilight so let's check this out this is another lounge all right so we're down here at the underground twilight let's go ahead and open it up real quick so down here in the lobby area oh okay this is one of those vip places all right so you're gonna have to get some access to come into here though but like if you can't get in i guess you can always just sit down here in the nice lobby area i guess <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and try to scroll down again Ooh, fancy down here hold on let's see so you have like a little like platform over here with some instruments you have a big dance floor you have some places to sit you have like another little sectional where you can come and sit down at. You have a bar over here on this side. And then going over here, you have a, I guess like a dressing room because you have like a room with the armoire in it. So I guess you can get dressed in here if you want to. Going over this way, you have some vampire altars. Going over here, you have some bathrooms. And then uh, you have like an arcade cabinet in the hallway. <laughs> but then going over this way, you have like another VIP room um, that has like a bubble blowing machine. You have a bookshelf. There's also a sectional. And then you have a little bar over here as well. And you have like this a little aquarium. I love y'all know I love this aquarium object. Okay, I got to start using that more though. But you have like a really nice like um, lounge down here though. I really like it very well made all right so we've pretty much seen everything over here in this little section let's go ahead and keep moving on so why don't we go back here for a minute so let's check out the elmira city fire department first all right y'all so we're down here at the elmira city fire department let's go ahead and open it up real quick i guess we can just start over here for a second you have your fire truck over here in this room but when you go over here you have like a little kitcheny section over here on the right over here on the left you have a office and then over here in the back, you have some bathrooms and some showers and stuff like that. There's also some dumpsters out here in the back. And then when you scroll upstairs, you have like a little area over here with a TV and a stereo. There's also a foosball table. So I guess this is like the little recreational chill spot. <laughs> Going over this way, you have some workout equipment. There's also a bookshelf. There is an arcade cabinet and an art easel. And then going over here, this is kind of interesting though. So over here you have like your rooms where your Sims can sleep. And then the, there's also like a bathroom in the middle, but like this room has like the double bed. So maybe like the chief sleeps in this room, right? Maybe. And then like maybe everybody else sleeps in this room. I don't really know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you have like a really nice fire department though. Okay, y'all. So now we're going to go ahead and go over here to the Calypso Playground. So let's just check this out real quick. Okay, y'all. So we're down here at the Calypso Playground. So you have a tree house. There's also some swings. There's also some spring rides. You have a grill and picnic table, a seesaw. There's also like a park bench over here. So, so it is just like another little small playground area though. But now we're going to go over here to the Elmira modern art so why don't we check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the elmira modern art and isn't this like the one from the base game i want to say or maybe it's like in the bin or something but i know it's like a base game lot if i'm not mistaken let's open it up and see if it looks different from the inside so when you come down you have some rocks in the corner <laughs> there's also like a little vase over here you have your bathroom so so far it's looking kind of like the base game one but i could be wrong y'all let me know if i'm if i'm saying something wrong but when you come upstairs you have plenty of sculpture and uh 
objects that are on display. You have a lot of artwork over here as well. You can have your Sims come and look at. There's also a TV over here. So I guess technically you can have your Sims come and watch that or no, you can't. You can only view it. OK, well, I guess it's not a functional TV then. <laughs> and then over here you have a room with some places to sit and you have some lights and stuff. So, yeah, this looks like the base game one. Um, But, you know, I still think it's nice, though. All right. So now we're going to go over here to the reserved. Oh, are these reserved? Oh, OK. Well, let's just check them out and see if there's anything in them. Um, just to be on the safe side. So let's check out this one first. Uh, this one is empty on the inside. Okay, so let's check out this reserved really quick. So this one is also empty, but this one has like a little swimming pool area and some places to lounge. There's also like a telescope here. And then this one just has like a really nice courtyard area with some chess tables out here. So again, you can always like, you know, add stuff on these buildings if you would like to and make them into something. But you know, I think they're pretty cool though. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and go over here and we're going to check out the central park. So let's check this out real quick. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the Central Park. And this is really nice, y'all. You have uh, these two bridges right here that are like over these ponds, which is really cool. So you can come and have your Sims fish out here if you would like to, though. Over here, you have a little playground section. Um, I'm thinking this is the bathroom. So yeah, this is like the bathroom. Okay. Going over here, you have some picnic tables and a grill. So you can come and grill out here if you want to. Going over this way, you have a little playground area, which is really, really nice. Okay, I really like that. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then you also have some chess tables right here. So you can always come here to like build some skills and stuff like that. So really nice park. But now we're going to go ahead and go over here to the Marvin Aquatic Center. Let's check this out. All right, y'all. So we're down here at the Marvin Aquatic Center. And it is like a community pool lot. So uh, I guess we'll look at the pool first before we go inside. So over here, you just have a pool. You have some places to lounge, a stereo, a grill, and a picnic table table going back over this way you pretty much have the same exact thing over here as well and let's just go ahead and check out the building really quick so when you come in though you just have your bathrooms and you have your showers over here in the back as well so you know you just have like a really nice community pool lot so now we're going to go ahead and go next door to it and we're going to check out the prosper room let's check this out okay y'all so we're down here at the prosper room let's go ahead and open it up so down here you just have like a little lobby section where you can have your sims come and sit down there's also like a piano in here but let's go ahead and scroll up so when you go up let's see you have a bar there's a little dance floor you have your stage over here with your instruments you have some places to sit down as well and let's go ahead and go upstairs again oh oh i didn't even see this y'all you can have your sims come out here y'all on the little like rooftop and you can have them come and sit down so that's pretty cool there's like some tables there's also like some love seats out here as well so that's pretty cool but when you go upstairs again though you have like a little roped off section you got to get that vip access though but when you actually come up here though you have some tape you have some uh chairs there's also a bubble blowing machine over here you have a bar a hot tub and then you have like a little sectional where you can have your sims come and sit down and then you have like these little dance rooms over here so that's pretty cool and then over here in the corner you just have your bathrooms and then you have your aquarium uh, object that i really like all right y'all so now we're going to go ahead and go behind it and we're going to check out the bonsai lounge okay so this one might be like the one from late night but let me just check it out real quick just to see all right y'all so we're down here at the bonsai lounge so this lot itself came with late night it's like a nice lounge though and it also has like a little parking space area over here which i think is really really cool i'm not gonna lie but let's just go ahead and open up the lot to see if there's anything different so over here you have some bathrooms you have your elevator over here on this side when you scroll up you have you know more bathrooms another elevator so let's go up again so over here it leads you to the lounge section and i love the color scheme in here y'all like love it love it love it <laughs> so when you get off the elevator though you have like a little sitting area here when you go inside if you can get inside you have a foosball table little Places to sit all around you have a little sectional here you also have a shuffleboard object over here you have your bar and then over here in this room you have some dance floors with some more instruments on a platform more places to sit in here and then when you go over here on this side you have your bubble blowing machine places to sit you have your bar and you have some arcade games in here so yeah this is like a really nice lounge i think this is just the one that comes with late night but i don't really remember all the details so y'all have to let me know if i'm missing anything though all right y'all so let's go ahead and keep moving on let's go over here now to the baltimore sports bar let's check this out okay y'all so we're down here at the baltimore sports bar 
let's go ahead and open this up real quick so there's nothing down here in the lobby so let's scroll down Ooh, okay so you have a bar over here you have plenty of tables there are some tvs in here as well you have like two foosball tables there's some places to sit more tvs and you also have shuffleboard and then going over this way you have your bathrooms and then you have some arcade cabinets and some more places to sit so yeah you have like a really nice little club down here though it's like really underground all right y'all so let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go over here and i think there's only two community lots left we have reserved and then we have reserved oh well we have two reserved lots let's just see if there's anything on the inside there might not be but there could be let's just check out this reserved first just to see so this one is completely empty on the inside oh is there something at the bottom hold on oh there's bathrooms down here okay so you just have some bathrooms so it's not completely empty but uh it's mainly empty though okay <laughs> so now we're gonna check out this one so this one is also reserved let's just see if there's anything on the inside of it all right so this one is also empty on the inside there's really nothing inside of this one either all right y'all so that was the last community lot i think we've seen them all all right so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to some of the houses i'm not gonna get a chance to see all of them y'all because there's quite Quite a few apartments and quite a few houses in this world so i'm gonna skip around a little bit just to give y'all a general idea of what they look like but i will start off by showing y'all the house that i placed elliot down at first all right y'all so this is the house that i placed elliot down at i really love the blue and white like i really like that color but let's go ahead and scroll down really quick so when you scroll down though you have your kitchen area you also have a little living room sitting area you have a bookshelf in the hallway and then you have your bathroom over here you have a pretty big garage and then when you scroll upstairs you just have a uh, two single beds up here okay so you you can fit more than one sim in this house <laughs> and you have like a lot of space though so you could definitely like close off the floor plan and add another room if you want to but you know i think this is a really good starter home because it really doesn't look like it you know it looks really big but you know you could definitely like add more stuff onto it if you want if you would like to what if we check off the house across the street real quick hold on let's open up this one all right let's see so when you come in you have a computer desk right here you have like a little living room area with a tv going over this way you have a nice kitcheny area some you have a nice bathroom and then you also have a little dining room area over here as well with a bookshelf on the inside of it now let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have two bedrooms um i almost thought this one was a double bed but it's actually two single beds put beside each other there's also like a toy box in here so this could be like a kid's room there's also a bookshelf you have your bathroom over here in the hallway you have a little balcony with a telescope and then going back over this way you have your master bedroom with your art easel and then there's also a bathroom over here as well this bathroom has two sinks that kind of fancy <laughs> and then outside of the house you have like a little deck space out here with your trash can and recycling bin and then you also have a fire pit all right so now we're gonna go ahead and maybe we'll check out maybe like two houses over here in this little section just to see what they look like they're all like so close to each other so we might as well just check out a, a lot of them right so this one looks like the myrtle bungalow from the base game but let me just open it up to see if there's anything different on the inside. Yeah, so I think this one was like remodeled. Okay, so you have like your living room here. You have your little desk right here by the sliding door that leads you to the side of the yard. Over here, you have your bathroom. You have your little kitchen area, your kitchen table. You have your, so you have two bedrooms. I think the Myrtle B Bungalow from Sunset Valley is just a one bedroom. No, it, it might be a two bedroom house. I really don't remember y'all, but you do have uh, two bedrooms though. So you have this one with the two single beds and you have this one with the, like the double bed on the inside of it. So, you know, really nice house. Why don't we check out this white one across the street from it? Hold on, let's check out this one. Ooh, this one is nice. So you have your living room, your bathroom, your kitcheny area. I like the Allen countertops right here. You have your dining space over here with some bookshelves. You have a bedroom down here. And then when you scroll upstairs, so when you go upstairs, you have a bedroom over here with two single beds. You also have a bathroom. And then you have like a little extra room over here with an art easel on the inside of it. So you could definitely make this into something if you would like to. And then outside of the house, you have a swing and then you also have a slide. Okay, so let's go back this way for a second and check out these two houses. So this one is like a blue one. Let's go ahead and open it up. So on the inside of this one, you have your kitchen, your bathroom, you have a bedroom here, you have a bedroom over here, and then going back over this way, you have a really nice size living room. And then you also have like this empty room right here. So you could definitely add something here if you want to. And then you have like a little deck space over here in the back of the house. And then let's check out this yellow one beside it. Let's go ahead and open up this one really quick. So when you come inside, you have a bedroom here, a nursery that leads into a bathroom. So it's kind of like a Jack and Jill, I guess. Going back over this way, you have a little sitting area, you have your kitchen, and then you have a bathroom. You have like an empty space right here where you could put like a table if you want to. So that's pretty cool. And then you have like a little back patio area where you can add some stuff out here if you would like. 
Um, so that's pretty cool. And then, oh, your trash can is over here in this little fenced area. Okay, that's kind of nice. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, keep moving on. So maybe we'll check out, oh, let's check out this big house right here. It's like a farmhouse. Hold on, y'all. And it's kind of green too. Yo, this is kind of nice. I like the color. Let's open it up real quick. Let's see. So when you come in, you have a dining room area. You have like a really big kitchen area over here, a bathroom. You have your living room space out here. You have like a deck space out here. So you have a grill, telescope. You have a little place to sit. You have like a lot of space over here though. <laughs> Going over this way, you have some harvestables. So you have like some apple trees, watermelon. There's also some onion out here and some bell pepper. So you have like a lot of harvestables at this house. There's also like a little garage. And on the inside of the garage, you just have a washer and a dryer. So you could definitely fit like two cars in here, but let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs, you have three bedrooms. You have like a master bedroom over here with a nice canopy bed. It has access to an upstairs balcony. Um, so that's pretty cool. This bedroom also has its own ensuite bathroom. Then going back this way, you have two other bedrooms. And then there's also like another bathroom over here. Now let's check out some of these houses over here. So I think this is like a little trailer park section and I kind of want to see what they look like. So let's check out this little trailer over here first. Let's, let's just see what this one looks like. So on the inside of this one, you have your kitchen area you have your bathroom you have a bedroom here and then you have like a little living room area over here as well and then you have like a little like sitting area on the front porch with a stereo so let's check out this one next so over here you have like a pretty big front porch with a park bench and a grill over here you have your kitchen area you have a little living room area slash workspace like study room area this one doesn't really even look like a trailer honestly <laughs> just like a really nice house over here you have your bedroom and your bathroom so like yo this house is kind of nice hold on this is like a fancy trailer and then over here you have another one so let's go ahead and open up this one so on the inside of this one oh i love the color scheme so you have your kitchen you have a little sitting living room area you have your bathroom a bedroom here and then you have like a home office -y space but this could honestly be like another bedroom if you wanted it to be so let's check out like these two other trailers right here so you have like this yellow one let's open up this one so on the inside of this one you have your living room area your kitchen area you have like a little workspace area over here in the laundry room which is kind of cool uh or maybe this could be like a little mud room i don't really know but over here you have your bathroom and then over here you have your bedroom in the corner so that's pretty cool and then let's go ahead and check out this trailer right here so this is like the last one i think Ooh, i love that yellow golden color scheme so when you come in you have your kitchen you have your little sitting area you have a art easel your bathroom here and then you have like a bedroom here with a little, with a little workspace so it's like a one bedroom house but you have like two single beds in it and then out here on the back of the house you have like a little sitting area over here on the porch so now let's go back over here to this little area we'll check out some of these apartments so maybe we'll like jump around a little bit maybe we'll start at this one over here in the corner and let's see what this one looks like on the inside let's see so this apartment is really nice too i love the brown color schemes too so when you come in though you have like a washer and dryer over here by the door you have your kitchen area you have a nice living room area over here with a little workspace area over here going back this way you have a bedroom this bedroom has its own ensuite bathroom i think it's like the only bathroom in the house honestly <laughs> but yeah this is like a really nice apartment too let's try to go over here beside it and maybe we'll check out this one so on the inside of this apartment when you come in you have an office space a bathroom you have your kitchen and dining space out here going over this way you have a little living room area with with a keyboard and a stereo going over this way you have like a, another this i guess is like a little recreational room or something like that so you have like a telescope there's also a bar and a chess table maybe it's like a, a study or something going over this way you have a bedroom so it's just like a one bedroom house okay all right so oh are these like townhouses hold on let's check out these really quick yeah these are like little townhouses hold on can we like open it up Ooh. okay so this one is empty are they all empty on the inside i don't really know let's check out this one this one is oh, okay so this one isn't empty okay so let's just scroll all the way down so there's nothing down here but when you come in you have a kitchen area you have your little dining space you have a living room area over here going back this way you have a bedroom with a little keyboard and then over here you have a bathroom okay so this is like a really nice house really cool so let's check out the these two over here to see if these are empty or not so this one is also empty and then what about the one over here on the end okay so this one isn't empty okay so when you come inside of this one you have your kitchen over here you have a bedroom a bathroom you have your living room space right here you have a bookshelf 
a desk and then there's also an art easel over here as well so yeah you have like a really nice townhouse over here and then you have like a little like front yard area kind of so you could probably put something out there if you would like to all right y'all so maybe we'll check out like maybe two or three more apartments just to see what they look like so why don't we check out maybe this one right here if we can so when you come inside of this apartment you have like your kitchen over here you have a living room section you have a nursery right here it leads into a bathroom and then going back this way you oh okay so you have like your island countertops right here that's kind of cool okay so you have like a little living room area here you have an art easel a telescope you have your like toddler toys over here and then you have like your table and then over here it leads you to the other bedroom so this is like a two bedroom house so you have like your bedroom it has like a little workspace area so that's pretty cool all right i like that all right so let's check out one more apartment maybe we can check out this one right here to see if there's anything on the inside of it let's see so down here you have a laundry room let's go ahead and scroll upstairs so when you go upstairs you have uh your kitchen right here you have like a living room area over here you have a bathroom and then you have a bedroom so it's like a one bedroom house but it has bunk beds so multiple sims could live here and then you have some instruments over here in the corner though okay pretty cool and i want to check out like these beach houses right here because they're like right here on the beach and we haven't really looked at the beach yet so i guess before we look at the houses we'll just check out the beach you know pretty big you could definitely like add a lot of stuff out here if you want to though but you have like a pretty big size beach and you know you're right out here on the water so you could definitely come and enjoy that but i want to check out these beach houses because i have not seen these yet wait is this like one of the ones from sunset valley i'm not really for sure but let's just check it out real quick all right let's see so when you scroll all the way down you have a nice pool you have a little place to lounge out here by the pool so that's pretty cool over here you have a little workout room with a bathroom in the corner there's even a tv and then out here you have a bar section and a little picnic table so that's pretty cool but now let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have like a little sitting area over here by the fireplace there is an art easel you have your kitchen and your dining space going over this way wait a minute y'all is this like the um the wolf household yo i feel like i've seen this house before who lives here in sunset valley i don't remember but you have like a telescope there's also like a little like sitting area over here with the grill and a table that's pretty cool going back over this way you have like another little lounge spot over here there's a bathroom in the corner there's also like a little sitting area over here by the bookshelf and then when you scroll upstairs again you have like a little office area over here with like with two computer desks there's also a chess table in here as well you have like another desk over here in a bathroom so going over this way though you have a bedroom there's also a little area where you can come and watch tv you have a bathroom here and then there's also like a bathroom over here as well okay so this is like a really nice house let's just check out this house that's right here beside it because i want to see this one too so let's just go ahead and open it up real quick all right so when you come in you have a sitting area by the fireplace you have a chess table there's a drum there's also a tv in here as well going back over this way you have a kitchen and then you have your dining room and then there's also a garage right here too and then in the back of the house you have a pretty big pool and then you also have like a little lounge area over here as well but now let's go ahead and go upstairs there's also like a bathroom here too but when you go upstairs you have a nursery right here these are some really fun colors y'all but you have like a nursery right here you have a bedroom over here as well with a telescope on the inside of it and a guitar this room over here also has its own ensuite bathroom and then going over this way though you have a master bedroom with a computer desk and it also has its own ensuite and then going over this way you have like another bedroom room you could also have like a sim live here though in this room so you have like a little kitcheny spot a little sitting area by the tv a computer desk and then there's also like a bathroom so you could have like a separate sim like live over here if you wanted to though but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video again this world is called elmira city i'm really like it y'all it's really big and it has a lot to do and a lot to see but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below i'll leave this world link down below if you want to download it and that's all i have for this one y'all i'll see y'all in the next one Bye. Thanks for watching.